Hi, Nana here. So during the month of April 18, I'm going to conduct a training on inventory and shipping. And then I'm conducting two sessions on this now. And let us go on and have a look at it now. So this training on inventory and shipping, fusion inventory and shipping, will be on two sessions. Session one is going to start on 18th of April. That is on Wednesday from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. India. And then uh, if people are in the different part of the world, what happens, you can now understand that what happens is 1.30 a.m. GMT. So India time does not change or the daylight savings and other things are not there. So it is 1.30 a.m. GMT. When you try to derive your timings basically. And then it will be for six days a week. And then uh, Sunday will be a holiday. And then it will be running approximately for a month's time. So session two is starting on 30th of April because of uh, some people's request. Uh, they are busy. And so what happens, you know, starting on 30th of April. It is from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. The first one is a morning session. The second one is an evening session now. So whichever suits, you can just join this now. So it is from 3.30 p.m. GMT. It is a 3.30 p.m. GMT, remember? And that is 9 p.m. India. So that is 1.30 a.m. GMT, which is 7 a.m. India. So this is also for six days, and then it will be running. So you can register for another session. Stop. So here, what happens, we'll be having uh, a coverage. The main five coverage fine, is on controls. Transfers, replenishments, accuracy, and then the fundamentals. Fine. Those are the main things which will be covered in this training now. So I have no, I am not attaching the agenda also. This now. I go there and have a look at it. So apart from coverage, what happens? Uh, those who are not attended in my purchasing training, what happens? I will be teaching them about how to create an enterprise now, and then uh, it will be completely shown to them. And then uh, what happens? Uh, the purchasing, receiving is also be, will be taught over you know, and then the data migration also be taught. Will be covered. So costing will also be covered on this. Now. Apart from that, the fusion shipping also will be covered. And then you'll be having an introduction to supply chain orchestration. Right? So, so many things are now getting introduced on this now. So, other pillars will be conducted a bit later now. So, this is in, this uh, training on fusion inventory will be keeping you fully. And then you can independently configure this now. Fine. It is not an end user training, it is an implementation training actually. So, at least 12 instances will be given to you for practice. And then uh, every day's uh, session recording will be uh, recorded and then sent to you. So that you can now practice at your leisurely time whenever you're free, you can do it now. Fine. You can watch the video, uh, sessions and then you can ask questions, you can interact with me. And then later on you can practice also. So please uh, do not share the video with others. And then uh, send me the new prospects and that is a real uh, tribute to uh, uh, your paying to me. Fine. <clears throat> so my advanced thanks for your help actually on this now. And then uh, what happens, I'll be giving you all the documentation which is required for this now. And then you can even have, a, I will now make one record for you for what the transfer orders. Transfer orders is nothing but IRISO. I will now make it and then I will now post it on my channel actually. Fine, go on and have a look at it now. And then uh, it has been triggered by min-max planning actually. So the transfer orders triggered by min-max planning, I'm going to make one record and then I'm going to post it on my channel. Just have a look at it now. Fine, go there. So the course is now cheaply priced at INR 3000. Fine, go there. So the agenda of the course is attached to, you know, fine. So compare the cost and coverage, fine. No commercial program on earth will be covering at a, such a low price now, fine, for, for so much of our topics basically. So it's cheeky. And even freshers can very well join, so please refer to others also, ask them to come and then join, you know. So once uh, when I have trained more than 2,000 persons, I am one of the, what happens, a very renowned person, renowned trainer actually, fine. Uh, my training coverage is very excellent and then it will be uh, covering to the grassroots of it and then what happens, we'll be able to implement the product without any problem as such. So when you make a payment, what happens, please mention your email ID because last time what happens, people mentioned the names and I could not recognize when there are two, three uh, uh, Pradeep are there, two, three Kumars are there, find, find it very difficult to what happens, identify it. So please may, mention your email ID on the narration of the payment so that what happens, you can do it. And then take a screenshot and then send it to my mail ID, what else, not under app 60. And then I will not register for the course actually. <clears throat> so as an after sales service, what happens, I will be assisting you on your implementation if you require me. My assistance, I will definitely I will have a look at it about how you're set up and then if there are any mistakes, I have pointed out uh, to many people as such on this now. So you can now see the agenda and then you can now pay to one of the banks basically. Uh, ANR 3000 is the one and then uh, make what happens, uh, remember to mention your email ID over there and then do it now. Fine. It is uh, either the RBL bank, the details on the RBL bank, uh, HDFC bank is the details now. And then uh, next is ICC bank, fine. Uh, ICC bank is the details. And then uh, next is Kotak bank. So one of the banks, you can just uh, what happens, send me payment and then do it now. I will now make one more record on what happens on the transfer orders now. And then with the min-max planning <coughs> uh, triggered by the supply chain orchestration, have a look at it, fine. This is a sample record, which you can see now. And then you can register for the course. And then you can have a look at the agenda for this now, fine, go there. <coughs> the agenda is like this now, fine. 
uh, we'll be creating an enterprise structure fine, right from the scratch. We'll now do everything. We'll now get a legal entity, and then uh, we'll now have a chart of accounts, <coughs> and then afterwards the ledger will be created, and then uh, we'll now create the business units also, and then complete all the financial skeleton setups, and then afterwards we'll now jump into the business units, and then afterwards we'll now do the jobs position, employment creation, and then we'll now assign the roles to appropriate people. So as a uh, as an enterprise structure creation, we'll now do all these things now. And then afterwards, what happened? The inventory setups will be beginning right, with the, what happened, the location creation, the workday calendars, the inventory orgs, the item org as well as the inventory org will be created. And then afterwards, what happened? The costing setups which are required for inventory. For inventory purposes, what happens? Uh, we have to add some uh, components over here now. And the valuation status has to be given. Will be done. And then you'll be having a look at uh, the e-business purchase accounting, basically. And then the miscellaneous receipt and costing also will be covered on this one. Then there are five replenishment techniques are there out of which one happens. One of them, I'm going to make a small record of this. No fine. Min max planning for org level sourcing. I'm going to do it now. And then I will now show this. No fine. Afterwards, what happened? The remaining techniques are yet to come in fusion. They'll be coming very shortly. So they will be demoed in uh, EBIS basically regarding the reorder point planning. Kanban replenishment, replenishment counting, and then the periodic automatic replenishment. All these things. The RC and PAR, everything will be demonstrated in the EBIS now basically. They will soon be coming in fusion. And then afterwards, the controls will be shown over here now. Find the serial control, lot control, revision control, locator control, and then the uh, material status control, everything will be demonstrated. The remaining are all demonstrated in the fusion only. Fine controls. And then afterwards, we'll be having the transfers now. Fine. The miscellaneous issues. And then the sub transfers, account alias transfers. And then the picking rules is almost exactly the same. Like it is now enhanced in uh, fusion, actually. The movement request. Fine. The movement request is nothing but move orders. And then the approval of more orders is yet to come. And then an announcement request has been submitted and then it will soon be coming. I will be demonstrating that in uh, EBS basically. And then the, what happens, you'll be having intra transfers uh, direct and in transit. And then afterwards, the fundamentals will be covered on this no fine. What is an asset exam? What is an expense item? What are the sub inventory features basically? Item attributes, item defining attributes and status attributes will be shown over here no fine. And then uh, afterwards, you'll now see all those things no fine over there. And then uh, finally, the unit submitters will also be covered. And then the inventory accuracy will be have what happens ABC analysis, cyclic and physical inventory. And then uh, with this accuracy is now covered as such. No fine. It's almost similar to what we have in EBS. And then those who attended the PO, what happens? It is not required. Fine. These are all the repeat session for them now, basically. So all the supplier creation as well as the, all the receiving activities on the PO will be shown to you. Everything will be shown. Then the data migration also will be shown to you at the end of the training. <clears throat> fine. The item import, stock import, open PO import, and shipping import, supply import. So that will now give you an idea about how to do the import of this term. Fine. So this is how the agenda goes now. Fine. <clears throat> so here, uh, what happens is that uh, if you see this now, <clears throat> the main four major topics will be covered on this. One. <clears throat> fine. So we'll be having these four always. Fine. The five topics of this of inventory now. So you'll now become an expert implementer on inventory as soon as you complete it, and then the course duration is approximately. Uh, uh, one month now, fine. So plan it and then accordingly, June, whichever is uh, convenient to you, you can just join. And then you can even write to me for any clarifications on this one, fine. So hope to see you soon on one of the sessions, fine. <clears throat> and if you have any doubts, you can just very well uh, write to me and then I uh, get it clarified now, fine. So in this training, what happens, we'll be covering the uh, fusion uh, shipping also, fine. Uh, order management comes along with the shipping and then what happens, uh, the part of shipping will also be covered. It will be taught completely on this now. Fine. So that what happens, you'll be understanding how to create the release release sequence rule, pick slip grouping rule, release rule, and then the shipping ship confirmation rule, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Fine. Everything you'll be understanding it now. Fine. That will be taught fully. And so what happens, you'll be ready for a shipping exhibition. And then later on, what happens, I'll be conducting a training on order management in which what happens, you'll be integrating it along with shipping actually. Fine. Now for a IRISO purpose, what happens is shipping will be taught to you so that you can also understand this. So bye for now, and then we'll not try to meet you soon in one of the training programs. Fine. Bye. And I will be sending one more record uh, on uh, what happens uh, the IRA, the transfer orders. Will be.